Let's talk, let's talk, let's talk maybe first about your new song. Uh, for those who haven't heard it, it's quite a good one. I, I listened to it earlier this afternoon. Maybe tell us more about what it's about. Hi guys, Ula uh, Soslona. Thank you so much for having me on your show. Um, I just recently dropped my second album called Sindisiwe and it's doing absolutely amazing. Thank you for the love and support. Um, this is my second project which basically talks about, you know, my story, my journey. Um, just finding courage to love through pain, you know, we are, we are usually disappointed by a lot of things in our lives, including, you know, our work, our, our family and, you know, our, our partners. But just being able to get the courage to love through pain is what really inspired, you know, my second project. And um, it's doing really amazing. There's, there's songs um, that people really, really love there. There's videos out that people can also check out. And um, yeah, big plans, big news. The source, how, how difficult has it been though navigating through um, this pandemic, through the lockdown and trying to work and, you know, trying to remain creative and upbeat? Um, it's been absolutely um, hard, you know, to work in, in this, you know, critical time for, around the whole world. Um, but for me, I've, I've, I think the work um, has just kept me going because my album was completed during, you know, the lockdown, uh, which was pretty hard for me because, you know, that there was curfew times, there were times where I couldn't, you know, get home from studio, I sleep in studio. It's just been hectic, honestly. Um, but you know, now that things are looking better for everybody, for the artists especially, because, you know, as, as people who are entertainers, um, even if it's locked down or not, we, we, we are meant to entertain. So it was pretty hard, but uh, now that things are looking good, looking better, um, we're looking forward to, you know, uh, working more, promoting my album also. Um, and yeah, just, just, just progress. Yeah. What is what has lockdown taught you as an artist? Like the things that you know you couldn't have learned had you not been under such uh, restrictive. For me, lockdown has been really hectic personally, um, but it's also given me enough time, you know, to 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 reboot. You know, um, for me, I think that's the biggest thing that I've accomplished during this critical time. Just being able to reboot because mm. <laughs> and at this point in my life, I'm just like, wait, hold up, and it's not so happy. And I just realized there's so much I want to do. Um, there's so much that I am capable of that, you know, um, this time kind of opened my eyes as to, you know what, 2021, seven, yeah. <laughs> so it's his name, it's 2021, isn't it so better? Yeah. But let's talk a bit about your new song, Njalo. What is Njalo about? I heard it, it's, it's, it's beautiful, it's, it's beautiful, it's soulful. Why did you want to write Thank that you. song? Mm. Thank you. Um, Amanda Mama Zula Saucy, they definitely know who see I'm a love thing about love. Mm. Um, love inspires me. And uh, Njalo is one of those songs that actually kind of paved the way for my uh, projects. It's a very different sound. Basically, I'm more of a trendsetter when it comes to sound because even mm. when I got into the industry at 18 years old, I literally had to start create a sound from scratch. So Njalo for me was one of those songs that kind of paved my way, uh, my sound rather with this you know, project. And uh, you know, just being inspired by love. I, I love love. I mean, I'm not in love, but I love love.